Hello viewers, today we are shooting a quick little video in which I would like to explain as to how and why a power valve functions in a two-stroke engine. So as you can see here we've got our cylinder clutch cover, the main components within which the power valve assembly is housed, and more specifically these are from a 2007 KTM 250 dirt bike which I'm rebuilding right now and this here is the power valve itself and it sits within our exhaust port here and as you can see its primary function is to restrict the size of our exhaust port and that's necessary because I believe from what I've come to realize is that an engine needs a specific amount of back pressure which is resistance from the exhaust gases to function properly and when the piston is moving up and down at low rpms it has more time in which it moves from here to here and pushes the exhaust gases out of the cylinder. So if it were open all the way like this and you were riding at low RPMs, the pressure from your exhaust gases that is created in your exhaust would be less than what is created here. And then as you rev up your bike, the power valve opens up and of course I'm sure it's exponential in the amount of back pressure that is required relative to the RPMs but your piston is moving significantly faster so in twice as much space you could say it may push the exhaust gases out twice as quickly or just as quickly because it is moving twice as fast. And what really interested me to create this video is when I saw how this power valve is actually moved and here within our clutch case we have the rest of our power valve assembly and we have this little rod that moves up and down like this or is pushed up and pulled down by the spring tension and it moves our power valve open like this and to do so there's the spring that goes in here the power valve spring and it can be adjusted to increase the tension and change the rpms of your engine in which the power valve opens to kind of get into your power band earlier or sooner depending on your riding style and what really interested me is is this little gear here. So this gear is connected to another gear in the engine which spins relative to the RPMs that the engine is working on, working at. And this is pressed by the spring against the gear here. And as you rev your bike up, this little metal disc is pushed out and it is pushed out by these little ball bearings which you can see in here and I believe they work by simply the centrifugal force of created from the gear spinning at such a high speed and I thought that was pretty cool because this spring the tension of it when it is compressed all the way down it is it is pretty hard to move by yourself like that but it is opened up by the ball bearings here moving out of their slots that they're sitting in towards the outside of the gear simply by the centrifugal forces of the gear spinning and it pushes the balls out they lift this guy here up and that moves this 
moving our little rod up like that and opening up our power valve. So that's how a power valve works in a two-stroke engine. I thought it was pretty cool. Maybe somebody else may find it as interesting as well. And y'all can see here, I installed a cylinder sleeve in this cylinder as it was damaged. And I have bored it and honed it to fit our piston that we have over there. And this is what I do for work, guys. Shortly in the future, we are working on a website, or me and a friend are working on a website that is called smallenginerebuilds.com. It's not up yet, but hopefully soon it will be. You guys can check it out. Or you can follow my Instagram page and be in touch there. You can see here, at small engine, I kind of update it a little bit more regularly. And it's also a good place for you guys to contact me if you're interested in having any of this type of work done here in Western Massachusetts in the United States of America. So thank y'all for watching. Like this video if y'all will, if you did, as it does the most for my little YouTube channel and subscribe if you guys wanna see more mechanical content but also everything really machine shop related even forerunner related and i just like to share my thoughts and ideas our progress here in our machine shop and just everything the future may hold so thank y'all for watching have a blessed day and of course like the video guys it does the most